Welcome back everybody, Pro Spartan Gamer with the SP Spartans Master League series on PES 2016 and god don't we need to kick up the buttocks, we really do need to get into this, two heavy heavy home defeats at the beginning of Season 1, absolute mauling by Middlesbrough 6-1, uh, no um, by Forest 6-1 and then we thought things couldn't get any worse, we got dumped 4-0 by Middlesbrough at home as well. Um, we have got a couple new faces in the team for today, and we have concluded negotiations for Tyvee. We said we wanted to bring in a young centre forward, now we've let Cortinio go, and this guy has got wheels. Let me just show you. Um, 23 years old, can play on the right as well, so that could be an option. He's got plenty of pace, and he's got a fair leap on him. Not a lot else, lots of greys there. Passing in that might not be the best, but he might be something that we can fill our boots with we are seriously considering at the moment selling one of our bigger players to try and fund a couple um more players in because we've had such a bad start of the season it's thrown into debate my ways of going about it i'm seriously considering this guy here there's no one in contact yet but that's the sort of money he demands 5.1 million or even maybe castle dying who's 2.7 probably this guy, we've got him up for sale. He would be the one that I'd probably be looking to get rid of. If we could get like 7 mil maybe for him, then obviously that might fund a couple more defensive players because we are struggling at the moment defensively. We've got three more games before the window ends as well. We've got Ipswich, Blackburn and Brentford all in this window. Team spirit is going up a little bit. But we need something from somewhere. Guys and girls, we need something from somewhere. We've got to find something from within. In theory, we've got our full strength side out today. As you can see it there in front of us. The only one who's missing probably is Castle Dying, Who's on a light blue on the bench. Um, let's just, like I say, Bizarre has now come in. And there he is. Um, we're also missing Matheson. So we're not quite at full strength. But Bazaar is in. We're just going to tuck these fullbacks in as close as they can go to try and give us a little bit more protection back here. And we're going to bring Hetich right back with Jerry Rice. And Arkaz is going to come back as well. Real, real defensive shape. Be happy to get a point just to get us up and running, really. We need something against these. And don't forget, they snap Babacar from under our noses. Mick McCarthy... Gert bent nose prick. He managed to get hold of Babacar under our noses. I could knife him in a dark alley for it. I really could. Ipswich kit looking grand. I think that one was done. Joint effort between Deimos and Glenn from Pez World. Don't forget you can download all those kits on pezworld.co.uk for the Premiership and the Championship and more will come on there. And my kits, don't forget... We're done by Jordan from Pez World. So kudos to you, Jordan. Thank you muchly and greatly. Let's get on with this game. Conceded 10 in two games. Look like absolute also rans. Look like choir boys being raped by a vicar. We really have. We need something. Big stadium here. Portman Road. Ipswich expect. They think they're playing the whipping boys. Well, let me tell you something. Spartan. And no one's whipping, boys. And there's a new signing, Big Boy Bazaar. Back for a second stint at the Spartans. Running up, getting his blood pumping for his veins. Come on, Big Bazaar. We need something from you, my son. Razor Bazaar. We need him to stamp his authority on this game. He's got to keep Babacar happy, um, quiet in this game. That might not be that easy. First touch for Bazaar. A short back there. Lays it off nice and quick. Highlights of this one to come. Hopefully we will get two games in this episode. Um, I know we didn't get two games in the last one. Early chance. Early chance. Oh, one more again. Ballister. Yes. Yes. Get in the net. 1-0 up early. What a good effort. From, I think it was the... Who's sitting on the left made a good effort in and it fell on a plate to Pallister. And boy, oh boy, we've got a lead out of nowhere. So much space in the middle for our cars to have a picnic, take a photo, a selfie and a group shot. 
Good play from Sayo. This was a good effort. Unlucky, he didn't go in first time, but Pallister was alive and kicking. And he's bagged his first berry of the season. And if anything, we scored too early. Long time to survive, keep him out of our box, not scoring. Don't get too excited. We have conceded shitloads of goals this season, don't forget, already. But we've got one early on our travels, and it's that man, Pallister. There he is. What an son. Early excitement here. Early ecstasy. Let's just hope we haven't come too early. We don't want no premature celebrations here. Well, Embazor. Good block. Pallister. Buoyed by the goal, no doubt. Breaking strongly down the wing. Sayo. 1 2 with Pallister. Whippage of the cheese. Lovely ball in. Oh, I thought it was going to fall. Left back steaming forward now. Can he get some whip on it? Driven across. Spotters look a different side here in the first 10 minutes. We really do. Jerry Rice and the pacemakers. Head ditch. Gonorrhea. Oh, that's Paul from Gonna. Oh, and there's the equaliser. Ain't nothing. Poor defending from Vassil. And Dee Murphy's hit one in from about 25 yards. Piss off. I hope you break the camera, you bastards. Wish I could set one up in the corner. And as they go there and do that, you squirt a load of bloody acid in their eye or something. Poor defending here. Look at this. What is he doing? He's run past it. Bazaar couldn't get over there. Of course, a new goalie in the day as well, Gazinga. We've not said too much about him because he's just an average Joe, really. The ecstasy of going one up only lasted 20 minutes. It's a decent knock. Wins a corner. 36 gone here. It's gone quiet since the since equaliser. A lot of ball for the Spartans. But as yet, not really making the most of it. Corner kick. It's better from Sayo. Oh, that was much better from him. Probably one of the best bits of play we've seen. Look how he took down this long ball. Showing good strength there. Sort of got it under control off his cheek right near enough. Got around and the shot on the left. Got to be in the target from there, son. As yet, you've not shown me you're worth five mil. You might be the biggest cock in the shower. But at the moment, that's all talk, mate. Bizarre. Coming out of defence. We know he can. Oh, and again, ball given away. We've got a stat up there. How many times they receive and give away the ball now. Uh, the monthly stats will show us that. And that's going to be a big thing for the centre forward in our sides. We need him to retain possession. A la M Mitrovic from last year, really. 1-1. One, one. Explosive start. Quiet ending to this half. But we're in it. We said we would take a point before the game started. Not really changed my mind on that. No changes for the second half. We just need to keep ball. Believe in ourselves. And if anything, get it forward a little bit quicker. And here's Pallister, the goal scorer. Good. Very good. What a ball in! Oh, what a ball in! Jerry Royce. Can't hold on to it back there. Pallister in again. Good defence work from Hetich. We've been very good today. Keeping the ball a lot better. Passing it the best we have in any game. Showing a bit more composure today. We're not showing away from the ball. We've actually looked like we wanted the ball. Sayo! Yes, Sayo, his first goal 
in the spine sir and what a finish and there's a flip as well flipping neck 2-1 up good play good play from Drazen come across I thought it was an hopeful ball really nutmegged him straight through his nuts what a finish real tight, tight angle he drove it into her he drove it in like the bishop to the nun. He really did. Straight between the thighs. And in the net. 1-0. What a finish. And I like the celebration, son. Just don't pull a groin. Or you have me to answer to. He's in behind. Dryzen. Good ball in. Oh, what a miss from... Arcos on the back stick, what are you doing? Pterodactyl head. Oh my god. What a chance. Put the game to bed. Hopefully we won't rule that. Dryzen on the left has been a threat today though. Well away, anyway we'll do. Brilliant from Pallister, balls and all tackle. He's then brought down. Droysen. Pallister should get that. He does. Whipped in. Back stick. No. Ooh. Left back Varney on the overlap. Lovely ball in. Oh, too much on it. Is it going to break gonorrhea? He does get it, gone a real lovely ball in again. It's one side to the other. It's going to fall on the volley for Jerry Rice. Oh, what a weak effort. Game's getting stretched and that, that ain't what the spines. What brilliant header from Gonorrhea. He was back there all over him like a rash. Like he would be. Here he is again. Pala started. Very good game. He's going again, the big boy. What a run from Pallister. Great ball in! It's Sayo for two and again! A brace of spies! We are going to celebrate. It's Dryzen! Thought it was Sayo and it's Dryzen with the goal. What a good game he's had. Surprised me today how well he's played. He's come in from Matheson Sausages and he's put in out of a display over there. Look at Gazinga. He's another one of the pterodactyl heads. What play from Pallister. Brilliant from big boy Pallister. Got the first goal today. And that's an assist as well. What a run. Lovely ball at the near pose. And Dreyzen wanted it. And wanted a cute header. Brilliant football from the Spartans. Once you've worn the shirt. And Bazaar knows all about that. He's worn it once before in 2015. And that was a crucial tackle. He's not, a, he's not adverse to a few cards, Razor Bazaar. He had a couple reds in 2015, if you remember. That might have even been a red in 2015. Thankfully, the rest are a little bit more lenient. They probably had enough of the pro Spartan gamer going in there and grasping an old boy the balls and saying, you bastard, what have you given that away? Oh, my word, what a strike. And they're back in it. And it's Babacar, it had to be, didn't it? It had to be Babacar. It was through the keeper before he knew it. Went through him like a good Vindaloo, that did. I tell you. Straight through him. Going to be a long last 10 now. What a strike. Keeper was nowhere. Oh, and he brings him down in the corner. After losing it. And he's going to be carded. couple cheap cards here late on. Captain Hetich not happy. Droysen's just walked straight through that geezer there. Let's have a look. Did catch him. Sent him sprawling. Get down in the mud you bitch. Eat shit. Two minutes of injury time. Big out of there. Someone needs to get their head on it. Didn't Bazaar get hold of it. Good Bazaar. Brilliant. Varney, don't give it away. Poor boar. Oh, three points. We're up and running, boys and girls. That is a massive win. 
That is one of the biggest wins in Spartan history after the first two demolishments we've witnessed. Let me tell you, I couldn't be happier. I am a pig in shit at the moment with that performance. Dominated the football. Look at that. They only had 34% of it. We They gave it to us, to be fair. There's some nice banners there. The Spartan Slimage legend. Things like that. Clack, crack the rain. The travelling supporters have witnessed a very good performance. 86 completion rate as well. And goals shared around. But Pallister had a really good game. Pallister, Dreislin and Soyo the standouts. I thought Razor Bazaar. Good debut at the back as well. We are off and running. And we can put the bad results to bed. And get back to some transfer news now probably. So let's just see the table. See if we've lifted ourselves off the bottom. We have. That win has taken us up a few points. And that looks a bit better. That does look a bit brighter. 12 goals conceded. Is miles more than anyone else. But we are scoring goals. And we did score three in that game. Let's not forget that. So things are looking up for the Spartans. We'll be back for another highlights um, package at the end of this episode. But probably there may well be some transfer news first. So hang fire. So here we are then. No real transfer news only that Toivy's come in. But big disappointment here is that things aren't looking great. We're losing a couple of Look at these blues for Bazaar. Jerry Rice in the middle on a blue. Castle team still on a blue in the middle. We're going to have to play some on them. We might have probably going to get away without playing any on a on a purple Tyvee's going to come in there and have to do a job see what he's like he's got plenty of pace about him so hopefully he's going to show us something what he's really got some real skill let's get straight on with the action then another evening kickoff we like evening kickoffs there's no shadows on the pitch Hopefully we get space and time on the ball. We're going to miss Pallister today because he had a very good game. But hopefully Tyvee already showing that he's got a turn of foot. Has he got a shot on him though? He has! And Tyvee has blown the water clear here. What a start to his Spartan career. And it's Tyvee. Have we unearthed another Spartan gem? Could be his position down the right there. And he's absolutely fired it. Looks like that's a bit of a weak spot there. Look at Gazinga. We've not put on a performance for these Spartan fans at home yet. Hopefully the day's going to be the day. What a start from Tyvee. Way ran straight at him. Direct. Soyo got in the way. And he's a get out the effing way man. I'm on a mission here. And the shot had some thunder in it. I think he has got ridiculous shooting power as well. We'll have to have a look at his stats. I know he's got really quick speed in one thing and another. But I think his shot power is in the 80s for a youngster, which is fantastic. Don't usually see shot power so high. But look at that. That was past the goalie before he had time to say 1-0 Spartans. What a start. Dream start for Divey. Just gone up to 72 as well. Overall stats. He could be a steal. And here he is again. He's got Sayo. Oh, very left footed. We've got to remember that. What a chance. And it's all about Toivy as the two front men combined. And it's looking rosier in the Spartans' garden already. Sayo! Yeah! What a strike! What a strike from Sayo! And we're 2 0 up here. And things are looking a lot better. And there's that celebration. We're never going to get tired of seeing that. And G Sayo, the shortest name on the team sheet. Plenty of room to add the minutes for the goals next to it, that's for sure. That was a good finish on his left. You've got to get him on his left. He's decent. Right on the edge of the moon. And he slammed it in. Things are looking up with these couple signings. What a strike. That is a good goal. Bit of pressure here coming. Away from Bazaar. What a ball. Go on, Sayo. Oh, 
Wouldn't drop for him. Couple really good chances. Good ball in from Toivy. Oh, what a lovely finish on the edge of the box. 3-0 right on the knockings of half time. Great finish from Castledine. Really composed strike. And we've seen three lovely goals in this first half. And the Spartans are in winter wonderland here. We've seen 10 goals conceded in the first two home games. And we're putting on a, Lord, a show for the mayor. And those fans don't have to appreciate it. We needed a performance in front of the home Spartan army today. Lovely ball in from Toivy. He's had a really good game. But as it dropped... What a composed finish from Castle Dine. That is quality. No changes at half time. Why would there be? Standing ovation as the Spartans left at half time. And Sayo starting to get better up top as well. The whole team looks a lot better at the moment. It's a break on Matheson. Before we saw the run from Sayo. Oh. Here is Sayo. Well, run, surely! Class from the striker. That's why we paid five million for him. And he's got his third of the season and two today. And didn't he take that well? I tell you what, I don't want to get too carried away, but I think he could do something this season now. With the likes of him and Tyve, I think we've signed two real gems. Could rip this championship back four pieces here. Any side's going to be worried against the pace of those two. Good play for Matheson. Took it so well, didn't he? Took it and turned. And then that move inside and he opens his body up and slots it in easy. And we're 4-0 up. Brilliant from Bazaar. What a tackle that is. Fantastic play from Bazaar to find Sayo. Matheson, oh, ball was going to be whipped in as a corner. What a great counter attack from the Spartans. Anywhere will do. Good save from Gaza. Gazinga. Good low save from the big boy. And away from the fullback. Can we keep us clean sheet? We've not kept one all season so far. Dying embers here. Good hands, Keepy. What a result. Didn't see a 4-0 coming. Back-to-back -back wins here in episode 4. We've turned the corner. Soyo shown what he's made of with a brace of spies today. Toivy showed that he could be absolutely electric off either wing or even up top if needed. And we're happy with our lot. Deserved all we got there. And Soyo comes away with a man of the match. A good debut for Toivy with 6.5. Bazaar showed qualities at the back. And once again, Hetic in the middle. A really destructive player. So good result for us. Let's have a good look at the table now. Hull running away with it. Four wins out of four. Middlesbrough up there, we lost to, don't forget. Forest are not. Uh, we're above Forest now, absolutely nuked us 6 1, remember. Look at that, eight goals scored, 12 against is still a lot, but we've m mashed the goal difference down a little bit with that win, and we're up the mid table. And I'd, I'd be delighted if we could get inside the top 10 this year. I think that would be a great you know, start to the Spartan series on 2016. Anyway, all in the garden is looking rosy. We'll have some money from that game as well. Matheson's gone up to a 69. That's good news. Nearly a meal again. So we might be able to do some business. We have had a, a deal agreed for um, Mbabu, the young Newcastle left back who could come on in alone at le left back. But we're just waiting to see because there might be bigger fish to fry. If we can get rid of a couple of players. I'll let you all know all that in episode 5. Thanks for joining as always guys. And we've won a couple games. And the army can start the march. Come on. Just wanna tell you.